Hi, I'm Charlotte Boise and welcome to The Proper Pour. In this day and age, a lot of cocktails come from making a twist to a classic. One example of that might be to switch out the base spirit. Consider, for example, the New York Sour, a classic cocktail made with probably rye or some kind of American whiskey, fresh lemon juice and sugar with a red wine float. Therein, to me, lies a great template to mix around a little bit. So I'm going to make my version of a New York Sour with no American ingredients whatsoever. My base ingredient is going to be the Glenfiddich 15. Now, understanding different spirit categories and how they're made allows you to appreciate their flavor even more. The Glenfiddich 15 has a very unique Solera maturation process. In short, there's a lot of sherry influence and rich red fruit that comes through on the flavor combination of the single malt. So this is going to be my base, the Glenfiddich 15 year old. Two ounces goes straight into my mixing glass. And then a real simple recipe this time, we're just going to add one ounce of each fresh lemon and one ounce of a regular simple syrup. So that just piles on top. And now I mentioned the red wine float, so we can start to think about what type of wine might pair well with this specific base spirit. So we've got European oak that went into the maturation of the Glenfiddich 15. So like I said, rich red fruits, we've got some port-like, sherry-like characteristics that are going to come through. So that we need to start thinking about what type of wine would work well as a top for this cocktail. But first, let me shake up the drink. And this gets strained over ice in a rocks glass. Sometimes this cocktail is made with the use of egg whites, which you can absolutely do. It's still delicious, gives a nice silky mouthfeel. What it also does is it gives a little bit of a pillow on top for when we float the red wine, or in this case, Lillet Rouge. I've chosen Lillet Rouge, a fortified wine from Bordeaux. Acts like vermouth in a cocktail, although technically speaking, it's not. But what this has is it has characteristics that tie back to the flavor combinations we found in the Glenfiddich 15. So it's all about marrying together flavors that make sense. A good hint here is to use a bar spoon to help soften the blow, if you will, when we pour the red wine, or in this case, the Lillet. You can use the top of the spoon like I am, or you can actually flip it around and use the back of the spoon, and it just controls the pour. And what we'll find is after a little bit, it'll settle now, it doesn't have to look perfect. In fact, it shouldn't really. It should just be a nice two-tone of the colors there on the cocktail. And as a garnish, we're going to bring out that citrus freshness. The aroma of Lillet has a lot of that rich red fruit, so it's just nice to cut that and brighten it up. So a little lemon twist that I'm actually going to spritz and discard and use a piece of orange as the physical garnish. So a little spritz, throw that out, and then we're going to pop the orange so the New York Sour, an old school drink flown over to Scotland with a new base spirit, the Glenfiddich 15. Enjoy.